Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Aquarius. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, let's get into Aquarius here. Uh oh, so we have a Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody emotional here, and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. There's no movements of passion here, that's for sure. <laughs> this is somebody that might be superficial here. This is what the energy is coming up. We're going to do that Celtic cross. What is the fears here? Okay. Um, somebody feeling like they may have to retreat. That may be a worry for somebody that they might have get rejected here. The Five of Swords in reverse. Regret. Maybe reconciliation here. And then the Devil card. So this could be with the Capricorn or this could be something that is, I want to say, um, very passion driven um, desire here. A lot of desire here. What, what do we have for what they think? We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody maybe not good with their money, maybe has um, an obsession here. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh wait, this isn't the Queen. This is the Page of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. So that's kind of like um, a lack of direction or focus somebody has here. Might not even be thinking about this King of Pentacles. Maybe kind of doing their own thing. Maybe not focused on anything in particular. How they feel? Mm, somebody wants revenge here Oof, with the Queen of Swords. This is somebody that's manipulative. This is somebody that is, um, I kind of feel like deceitful, malicious, manipulative. And then we have the hermit, somebody that is in hermit mode. They're going within and healing thyself. What is the past intuition about this person for Aquarius? Hmm, somebody might be needing to take some time to heal something here. And what is the past intuition? Okay, and this is the Princess of Swords. So that's the Page of Swords. So this is somebody that may and it's in reverse. So somebody that plays mind games. So somebody might be healing from somebody that was playing mind games with them. Maybe this is somebody playing games with you, Aquarius, or maybe you're playing games with someone else, maybe a Capricorn. I feel like somebody may have felt stabbed in the back here and isn't focused on this person any longer somebody might be losing money here maybe going through some karma here what is this near future intuition saying what is their near future intuition oh empress in the upright so somebody's doing the work here i feel like this is this person that's healing here the empress is healing and what about this King of Pentacles? Hmm. That's the Two of Wands. Somebody might be held back here. This may be to do with karma. I feel like the Capricorn is the Empress here. Hmm. What's the lessons learned here? Oh, okay. Ah. The lessons learned here, it looks like the five of wands in reverse, and that's about reconciliation, and 
the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is somebody that is, um, I kind of feel like uh, that kind of aggressive, reckless kind of energy, like somebody that's can be kind of cruel actually um, and mean, you know? What's the lessons learned, or not the lessons learned, what's the external influences? We have the King of Wands in reverse. So this might be a friend of this King of Sword or King of Pentacles, or this could be a friend of the Empresses. Could be somebody that doesn't like her or this King of Pentacles, because they are in the reverse. So I kind of feel like they're maybe broke some promises, maybe kind of is a player, player, swagger, swagger that uh, moves like dagger. <laughs> I gotta get that song. Um, oh, okay. Ooh, sees a ten of pentacles with a page of cups offer here. Is seeing cha ching cha ching <laughs> with an offer here for this empress. May just see money. This could be his end all be all, and it may be that this empress has kind of got this. Is that supposed to be the moon or the sun? Oh, that's the sun. She might be glowing up here. And in that Ten of Pentacles, he may want to give her a cup of love, this King of Wands in reverse. This might be two people that are interested in this Empress. What is that they don't see coming? Judgments. <laughs> the scales have to be balanced. Somebody's uh, debts have to be paid here. Ooh, the moon in reverse. Something's coming to light, Aquarius. <laughs> What's this outcome? Okay, so somebody's coming in with a cup of love with the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. What? <laughs> this is somebody that's fearing change. This is somebody that may have low self-worth here. Could be fearing this change. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why is that here? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody might want to build something here. And the other one might be fearful about this change. But someone's going to come to light. Balance is going to be restored. Now, whether it's with this King of Wands or this King of Pentacles, or it may not be either one. Okay, what about this Empress? What's coming in for this Empress? Queen of Wands is here. Is this another woman coming in here? What is this Queen of Wands about? What's the Queen of Wands about? Oh, oh, having to do with the King of Swords and Deceit. Okay, so somebody might be sending a woman in here to maybe befriend this Empress to try to give her the Ten of Swords. And that's stabbing her in the back, maybe trying to make her life difficult. Maybe to throw in um, something here so something doesn't work out here. I kind of feeling like there's a couple people that are going to be rejected here. Hmm. It's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. This is quite the fence that uh, somebody's got put up here. Um, a wounded warrior that is still moving ahead despite all of the um, th 
things they've gone through. Hmm. Let's do the Kipper next. Let's see what comes in. Ooh, courtship here. The energy is no couple love here and no passion here. Nobody coming in passionately, but court our courtship is here with stability. So what is this? Bad health in reverse. So somebody might have been in bad health and they're starting to get better here. Hmm. What's the fear here for the Empress? What's the fear for the Empress? Hmm. She was worried about somebody just wanting to come in for sex and a false person. She's concerned or fears somebody being false to her again. Maybe she's already been through that. I know there's a lot of people that have, <laughs> including me. Yeah, and somebody's worried about what their friends are going to think. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who cares what anybody else thinks? It's your life, not theirs. You're not there to please anyone else. I just don't understand. <laughs> it's your life. It, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Do it is right for you what's in your heart what your true desires are this is king of pentacles in reverse this might be somebody that's kind of obsessed with you the king of pentacles this is kind of yeah obsessed oh they may not want you to work they may want to look after you and you might want to work. That's not, I kind of feel like with this empress, she got to being an empress because she put the work in to get her life to this Ten of Pentacles here. This might be somebody that wants to delay this or they just are, have that old paradigm type of old school kind of thought where the man provides for the woman and that's just not how it is nowadays what is this prince of pentacles in reverse for what they think this is how somebody thinks that women shouldn't work mm. yeah somebody's in despair here with the page of pentacles in reverse so this is this is kind of like somebody that's lacking um, focus somebody might be in despair because somebody's not focusing on them or not putting their energy towards them how do they feel what does the Empress feel here what does the Empress feel here this one doesn't, ah, change. <laughs> okay, and concern is in the reverse. So somebody's not concerned about something here and somebody's wanting some type of change. Hmm. What is the past intuition telling the Empress? Gift in reverse. Maybe she wasn't having something coming in. Uh, this was maybe feeling like she didn't deserve a gift. Or somebody, I feel like she maybe was the gift and this king of pentacles walked away from her. Decided not to take the gift. That's might be why it's in reverse. This is somebody superficial here. What they may have been love bombing or um, some type of romantic illusion going on here. 
What does this King of Pentacles um, past intuition telling him? What is this past person? Whoa. Oh. Great. Um, we have <laughs> thief and main male. So I feel like this main male huh, felt robbed because he did it to himself by rejecting this gift. And I feel like this empress was the gift and he had decided not to take it. He may have thought the empress was there for his money, but he's in the reverse. He's not good with his money to begin with. So he may not, he may not actually have any money. He might just be posing as if he has money. This thief, he might be with her. He may have been upset. He may have walked away from this gift. He may have ended up with somebody that did want him for his money. Maybe he thought she just wanted him for his money and walked away from his gift. She was the gift. Aquarius, why is the, um, what is the near future intuition for the Empress? Oh, she might end up getting a message here from spirit number seven. What is, it could be a message from somebody else here. Oh, from a wealthy man. Okay, she might get a message from some other man here. Somebody's sending in trouble though, a form of a woman, maybe to befriend somebody here just to give her the 10 of swords, to stab her in the back. This may be a man and a woman that have both done stuff to this empress. Some deception here, betrayal. Hmm. May have done it to this wealthy man too. Maybe this wealthy man is giving her a message about this betrayal. <laughs> oh man. Yeah little kitten <laughs> out in the snow is that ever funny <laughs> all right um, let's see here what is the lessons learned here great fortune if she hmm I feel like hmm lesson learned here great fortune in reverse if she reconciles with somebody here and what is this Knight of Swords here? Hmm, unexpected income. This Knight of Swords is somebody that's pretty aggressive, impulsive. So he may feel like he's gonna get some type of income here, but I feel like he's going to drain somebody, this Empress's finances if she reconciles with somebody from the past. That could be this Capricorn, this Empress. I'm still feeling like this Empress is the Capricorn. Could be the Aquarius. Kind of feeling like the wealthy man is the Aquarius. These other people here, this King of Pentacles could be the Aquarius or the King of Wands could be the Aquarius, but I'm not, I'm not kind of feeling that. Hmm. I mean, take it however it resonates for you. Maybe you're the main male in this. Maybe you're the king of pentacles and you, maybe you don't want your woman to work. Um, there may be despair because maybe you walked away from this empress and now a wealthy man is coming into her life. Hmm. Maybe you only wanted her for her money or it's possible if you are this empress, then you're worried about people being false to you. Maybe you don't wanna work or you don't want somebody to work in your life or 
maybe you're in despair about not choosing somebody maybe you ghosted somebody maybe they wanted you for your inheritance this great fortune in reverse take however, however it resonates for you Aquarius so the lesson learned is if they reconcile they're not going to have a fortune left anymore and if if they're aggressive, um, I feel like they feel like if they're aggressive and don't give somebody time to really think about something, that they're going to get some type of income because then that person might be likely to make a decision too quickly without taking the time they need to think about it. Hmm. What's the King of Wands in reverse? This is the uh, external influences here. Somebody might be coming in. Somebody's thinking about this empress or this wealthy man or this main male. Somebody's thinking about somebody here. Hmm. Yeah. Ton of pentacles and a cup of love. Somebody thinking about this empress, I feel. Um, none of their family is going to be there for them. With the family room in reverse, I have, I have this feeling that the family is going to disown this empress if she has anything to do with this king of wands in reverse. The family does not approve. This is external influences. This could be his family that doesn't approve of her as well. Somebody is getting judgment. Somebody is going through karma. Somebody might have to make a judgment call. Something's coming to light here hmm, about the lover's card. So this, okay, so judgment when it comes to love here, a choice in love somebody maybe has some type of expectation about this moon card being in reverse that they're going to have something come to light here about things what is the outcome with the knight of cups here for the empress let's see for the empress why is the knight of cups here hmm this may be an official person here this could be the military or a police officer. We've got child come out and pathway that I'm seeing here in the cards that were in the in toil and labor. So this may be what he does for work. Maybe he's military. Maybe he is um, the police or something to do with the justice system. Maybe court. Okay. And what about the Three of Pentacles? This is about a team player, teammate cooperation, and somebody not walking away. What is this? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take them anyway. Courthouse and house in reverse. So somebody may be getting a divorce here and maybe loses a house. Maybe in the divorce, um, he gives up the house. Hmm. I wonder if this has to do with this thief. Child card came up again. So maybe this person has children. Maybe you do. Maybe this empress does. Maybe the wealthy man does. Sudden wealth. Pathways in reverse, though, when it comes to a privileged lady who is going to end up in poverty and have to go back to work. Journey in reverse, so they're not going down the right path. I feel like this person may be a baby mama here. If they go back with this privileged lady who feels like this male, I feel like this is this wealthy man who might have a child. 
maybe the baby mama I feel like if he goes back to somebody in the past here he's going down the wrong way to this privileged lady who feels like she sh she's <laughs> um, entitled to this wealth she's gonna end up in well he's gonna end up in poverty and have to go back to work because this is not his journey there's a mature woman and a mature man here and a coffin in reverse so I feel like this something hasn't ended with this mature man and woman here there's high honor here in the distant horizon message of concern uh, to do with a divorce here maybe even somebody going to jail this main female may end up going to jail something somebody that this wealthy man was married to it could be child abuse or not looking after the child or something using the child against this wealthy man or something along the having to do with this child maybe as a form of revenge this could be this woman coming in with this king of swords here for the ten of swords for this empress wow all right Aquarius um, there's some things here you have to be careful of about going back to a past person depending on who you are in this if you are the empress you, you're not supposed to go back to a past person um, there's a wealthy man coming in for you and if you are the wealthy man you're not to go back to whoever you are married to if you are married to them maybe you were just in a long-term relationship you're not supposed to go back to that person there's going to be a divorce and you might end up losing a house or having to give up something to this privileged lady but she may uh, have done something to take something from you hmm it's possible she t tries to get sole custody of the child hmm I'm not liking this reading for you Aquarius but the things can really work out for you if you go down the right path there is lovers here and you are expecting somebody to come in here and this wealthy man could be this official person who maybe has to get this divorce before he actually comes in But you're not to go back to anybody from the past this king of wands in reverse or this king of pentacles in reverse i feel like you've already made up your mind about this king of pentacles in reverse because of the despair and you know i feel like maybe spirit has maybe said something to you that if you go back to somebody you're going to lose your fortune they're going to take your fortune from you because they're not good with money right they're with the king of pentacles in reverse and i feel like this king of wands is thinking about you but your family would never ever accept this person back in your life and when it comes to the lovers you're getting uh you're making a judgment call here because you're expecting something to come to light here could be this official person this wealthy man coming in with this cup of love and he's getting a divorce maybe right now he's looking for that he maybe hasn't walked away from this person with the eight of cups in reverse I kind of feel like he's got maybe self low self-esteem because of this person he may have been with he's looking for somebody that cooperates as a team player is somebody that wants to work with him and not work against him and I feel like he gets divorced and maybe he loses a house in this divorce but I feel like this is meant to happen in order for you two to come together now 
this empress is a capricorn it looks like so aquarius you might be this wealthy man or you could be this empress take how it resonates right so wow this is crazy all right i'm gonna um let's do some angel romance angels here and then we'll just wrap this up i'm just gonna do nine cards and see what comes out for you for aquarius please spirits aquarius maybe you have a capricorn in your chart heavy here oh i see honeymoon <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> i'll pick that up in just a second Wow, okay, children came back out here. Hang on. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. <laughs> okay, it says keep an open mind. We have let your friends help you. Children and honeymoon. So, wow. And then we have some other cards, and I'll just flip those up here. I'm just going to do them all in uh, phrase. We had honeymoon first. Let your friends help you. Keep an open mind about children. Let's see. Maybe you're worried that they're not going to like you. <laughs> you deserve love. You are lovable. We have religious factors here. Maybe you are religious and your person is spiritual or vice versa heart to heart conversations there's some things you have to talk about we have reconciliation <laughs> we have a lot of passion here with that uh, Capricorn card the devil card <laughs> a lot of desire here this could be the one and forgiving and learning now reconciliation is here make the effort so this wealthy man could be somebody from your past <laughs> oh wow so make the effort this could be the one for giving and learning wow honeymoon <whistles> a lot of passion here heart to heart conversations so it's all gonna make a difference on who you choose here I feel like the King of Pentacles in reverse is not the wealthy man. Um, I kind of feel like this wealthy man could be somebody from the past here. And if you are the wealthy man, if I'm talking to a masculine, your empress could be somebody from your past. I kind of feel like maybe it never was romantic or maybe you wanted it to be. Hmm. Anyways, that is what I have for you. <laughs> uh, so please like, share, and subscribe, and become part of the divine oracles join that tribe okay don't forget to give me that thumbs up if you like the reading and we will see you all next time now remember you can donate to the channel at my paypal account down below in the description box as well as if you want to see me using certain tarot cards and you want to purchase those tarot cards and send them to me my mailing address is down below in the description box as well. So anyhow, take care. We'll see you next time. All right. Later.